Hi, my name is Stephen, and I'm going to show you how to skin and gut a wood pigeon. This uh, yesterday, I was on my allotment, and there was a wood pigeon that was flapping around in the hedge. I think it had been injured by a cat, and it wasn't going to survive. So I decided to put it out of its misery and then eat the wood pigeon. Um, so I have the wood pigeon here. This is the wood pigeon. Um, when I um, snapped its neck, the head came off. So I put a bit of comfrey leaf over where the neck uh, was broken and that will have stopped the bleeding because comfrey stops bleeding. And so wood pigeon is very easy to deal with and it's very tasty to eat. Um, you don't get much off them, but let's do it anyway. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. Um, so basically, let's get this all set up. Um, there's not much to it. The first thing to do is to just take the feathers off which should come off fairly easily and I put down newspaper so I don't make too much of a mess um, the nice thing about gutting animals is that it's pretty much the same principle behind all of them you get the guts out without damaging any of them um, and then you take the internal organs out and then you've got something that you can eat pretty much but first of all we just pull the feathers off the other good thing about wood pigeons is that the skin of them is so thin you can pretty much do the whole process without even needing a knife so let's see We'll probably find that the skin is so thin that we don't need a knife for this. Uh, let's have a look. So I'm just peeling back the skin now with my fingers. And as you can see, the skin just comes away fairly easily. And just down around here, uh, between the feet you'll see where the kind of breastbone comes down to an end and that's where we're going to go in first we're going to break through the skin now and we'll find the guts um, the good thing about not using a knife is that you're in no risk of breaking the guts which is the bit that you really don't want to do so everything should be relatively nicely intact here so the guts are just coming out now um, that there I found a stomach quite quickly this there is the kidney not so kidney that's the liver there you can see the liver I'm going to put the liver in this bowl here because we'll use that. I'm going to put the things I don't want to use in this bowl. There's the guts. And that's them all out. This is the stomach. You can always recognize the stomach because it's really hard. Hard, kind of like a ping pong ball or something. And um, yeah, there's no real uh, right way or wrong way of doing this as long as you follow the main principles. I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut the wings off, although you could just snap them off or you could use a knife. Um, you try and cut where the joints are, hence why they say jointing the meat, because you joint where the joints are. There's one wing off. And it's just to make it simpler to show you what's going on. Uh, 
And then the tail feathers, we can probably pull them off. Yeah. And we can remove more feathers around the back. A lot of people, when they're doing wood pigeons, they just go straight to this breastbone here and they just cut out the meat here and here and then just get rid of the, re the rest. Uh, but I want to go through the whole process just to show you. And also, I want to use the internal organs. What we'll end up having is something that looks like a very little chicken. Uh, I'm pulling down the legs now. I'm going to snap the joint where the, the legs come to an end because there's nothing beyond that. We can boil up this wood pigeon. I'll probably make a stew with it. Or maybe I'll just fry it up. Tendons are always quite a bit of an effort to get through. You could use, um, you don't need a pair of scissors, you could just use a, a knife, a Stanley blade works. And now I'm pulling the skin from around the back of the, uh, the bird. Here's the neck and here's the back. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see the rib cage starting to emerge here. This is the backbone. Just going to keep pulling, pulling down. Wood pigeon was the first animal I ever learnt to do this with. I was, no one ever showed me how to do this. It's not the kind of thing you necessarily need showing because it's all fairly common common sense straightforward you can see here what the wood pigeon's been eating this is the gullet here and there's bits of uh, uh, oh, sunflower seeds bird feed basically it's been eating someone's bird feeder um, as a lot of wood pigeons do, um, and probably eating berries off the allotments as well. And now I can see where the kidneys are. I mean, the kidneys on a wood pigeon are tiny. This is the kidneys here at the back. Okay, if you can see that, there's like little, little round kind of um, dark crimson kind of part. There's not much to eat off them really. And then also I've got the heart here. The heart is here, right inside. That's the heart. I'll put that in that bowl because I'll eat that. And now I'm going to break down, further down. I'm just going to pull actually. Here's the lungs. The lungs are always connected to the heart, as we know. The lungs are, tend to be, in most animals, a lighter colour to the uh, liver and the kidneys. Um, I don't tend to eat the lungs of a lot of animals because they tend to be bitter in taste and not so nice, but they are edible. There's the lungs, so I'm going to put them over here. And, and now I've separated the breast meat here from the spinal column, which is here. And every time you do this, it'll be a little bit different. But there's meat on the neck. We could, if we want to, we can cook that up. Um, this is uh, the wishbone here. So just for exploring down what it looks like or we'll break through that and that's where we've got the main part of the meat in here so this is all just muscle Let's see if I can get around that with my hands I'm pulling off bits of a rib cage here. 
rib cage. There's a bit of rib cage there. I've pretty much got there now, I don't need to go any further, I could just cook it up and eat it, but it's always quite fun to see how you can explore these things with your hands and that's the other part of the meat there. So meat on either side, what they call the breast meat there and there. If I cooked that it would all just fall off. There's the stuff I don't particularly want. There's here I've got the legs which are I've next to nothing on them but maybe I'll cook them up anyway if I'm going to stew it and then get through the little bones and then there's the little kidneys at the back there. So I'll give I'll give the stuff that I've cleaned, well the stuff that I want to keep, I'm going to clean, I'll give it a wash, get any last feathers off. Uh, the feathers, bits I don't want going in the compost. And that's it really. Okay, so I've, um, I've given everything a wash now. I've washed the meat. Um, so that's ready to be cooked, all of what's in this bowl here. And everything else, which I'm going to throw away, is in this bowl. You can see why the newspaper is useful. Now, oh, found a little snail here. That was one of the things that the wood pigeon ate. There's a little snail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fry the whole thing. I'm just going to keep it simple for now. So I've just got a little pan, put a bit of oil in there. I'm going to fry it for about five to ten minutes and that will probably cook it. Some people hang wood pigeons so that it tenderises the meat, which you can do. Um, good idea, but I'm a bit impatient today, so I'm just going to fry it up straight away. And I've wrapped up all the rest of it in the newspaper. That's going in the compost. 